Hey folks, Steve here with another Dark Valley video. Today we'll be looking at uh, turn 42. So, last three turns. We're in the end game now. Uh, <laughs> the real end game. We're in final phases here, guys. Final phases. Um, with uh, this being a snow turn, next turn will be a mud turn, and then the final turn will be a clear turn. And we we might very well need that clear turn to make a big difference in what we've got on the board here today. Um, so, uh, just taking a look, you can see uh, right now the Soviets have some lanes open to uh, the west edge of the map over here. And really, Berlin is a pretty critical spot, <laughs> as you can imagine, um, being the capital of Germany. That is the end goal to try to get to as uh, Soviet forces are still working their way through. Uh, we had last turn some excellent progress made, the capture of Silesia. Um, the breaking through in a, what is basically the region of Czechoslovakia at the time, uh, but had been annexed by uh, Germany. And, you know, really, um, we don't have that much farther to go, I guess. Uh, they just need to get into, into Prague. So, um, we'll have to figure that out. Uh, as I'm looking around and looking at the game situation... Um, I've got some units over here. They're actually not there. I'm going to show them in a second. Those are the German reinforcements of this turn. Um, we've still got some units here defending in the south, um, trying to hold on to Hungary. Uh, once Buda uh, falls, then Hungary will fall. But probably by that point, all the Hungarian units will be off the map anyway. So really, this is a cleanup job. We need to get up here and take care of uh, the units that need to be you know, taken care of, basically. Um, to knock out uh, those forces. They're, they're going to be in danger of losing supply here very shortly. Um, now, probably the big thing that matters here is this is the last gasp, basically, of the Axis. They have some uh, units that are coming in as reinforcements. They have some that are returning from the other fronts box. And what it really amounts to is we've got a couple of these uh, battalions, um, and then we've got five divisions that are mechanized units that all have Zox and are, all things considered, pretty strong, right? Um, four combat factors, six combat factors on defense, five, five, six, and then these guys, you know, providing defense of three, and they can stack with whatever. So um, those are going to be tough units to try to take out um, here in the late stages of the game. We could very well end up in a situation where, you know, these units by themselves are, are holding back the Soviets keeping them out of Berlin, maybe in time for the Western Allies to get to Berlin first, right? I guess that's really the victory condition we're fighting towards is, hey, if we can take out all these, you know, important victory cities of the Axis, we're getting there before the Western Allies, I guess, right? The, the tone of the game is changing to that race uh, to take Berlin. So these guys could be the, the defending forces there. Um, not sure how well that'll work out for them, and I'm going to have to double-check their placement because... And, I, and I've brought it up before um, on the forums, like, technically, there are some city border hex lines here. And, like, Hungary has a label, but Vienna and Prague um, don't have any sort of label. Like, I don't know if they're supposed to be part of Germany or not, um, because Germany has a label up here, and it sort of has the country border hex sides, and why that matters is if the reinforcing German units can be placed in, it says, in Greater Germany, that can trace a line of communication in Berlin, if the Axis can place reinforcements here and here, then they're going to try to, try to hold these, because otherwise these units are going to shuffle in and they're just going to take those cities, basically, I think. Say, one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight. Vienna will be taken. Prague will be taken. So if, if the Axis can't put reinforcements there, then the Soviets on their first move are just going to take those cities and cut off supply down in Hungary. Um, but if those two cities technically count as part of Greater Germany, and I, I kind of think they would be, right? They were annexed by Germany. Um, then, uh, then they would be able to place uh, reinforcements there, and it will be tougher to take those spots, um, tougher to take those, uh, yeah, take those spots as 
the Soviets. It may take a turn or two to, to actually, you know, do what we need to do. Um, so we'll have to figure something out about that. I'll have to double check the rules and verify. Um, but yeah, those units are going to put up a defense and we're going to have to see how it all plays out here in the waning turns. I think it's really important that the Soviets do whatever they can to still knock these guys out of supply and screw them up there. And then, again, try to get into these last couple of victory spots. There's seven victory uh, points left for the Axis. That is Buda, Vienna, Prague, Berlin, uh, Breslau, and Danzig. Make sure I'm counting that right. I think I'm missing one. Um, Oh, Königsberg is still controlled. It's buried under units way over there. So, um, yeah, there's still stuff to, to be taken there, and whether or not port supply is going to be a factor, we'll have to look at that, depending on how far these guys can go uh, with their Soviet move. This is where, like, knowing the rules and verifying the rules and looking at every single move is important. Like, before it was, you know, yeah, you're just trying to have good attacks, you're trying to make progress. Here it's Okay, every move matters. Every move that we take has to be done just the right way to make sure we maximize the benefits. It's really, this is the most exciting part of the game, is when we have these much broader um, periods of movement and striving to, to get every hex or every zoc just so, um, now that there's been the proper breakthrough. So, interesting times for sure. It's going to be the race to the finish, basically, and we'll see how it, how it works out. Um, I'm going to take myself off camera. I'm going to do that rules review and just verify um, what is what here. And what I'll do is um, I will then place these uh, SS armored units. I think they're SS because they're the black units. I don't know. But uh, the, the reinforcements here will get placed wherever they can be placed. And then I will do the typical air base uh, segment type stuff and the strategic movement stuff, and we'll come back to uh, prep for the, uh, the action phase as usual. So um, last couple of videos have been pretty quick. This one maybe will be a little bit longer just because, again, we're going to focus in on some really important activities. Um, the artillery is getting left behind. It can't move fast enough. Our, all of our fast movers are trucking as fast as possible to try to get out ahead. Um, you know, basically, we're like... You can see here, it's like a race. There's a bunch of armored units <laughs> heading west, a bunch of ar armored units up here heading west, just trying to get a way to defend and hold on to what's left, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So, um, long intro, but important intro. We'll put a cut here, and when we come back, um, there'll be more to say. Okay, so I have placed the reinforcements. Um, I can place these guys. Vienna and Prague are part of Greater Germany. They're technically a different region, but the book says they're part of Greater Germany. So, there you go. Um, so, placing, I put some units there because that is as good as I could get. Decent strength. Now, the problem is they're armor units in cities, so they're going to be half strength. Which, here's the thing. I had to hedge my bets, right? I had to select if I was going to put those reinforcements there before I saw what I was getting for rail movement. I ended up rolling a 3 for rail movement as the axis. And so it was probably a good thing that I put these guys here. The whole reason that they're there is so that these units can't just waltz in and take those cities. They can cut rail lines and stuff, but they can't just seize the cities right away. They've got to fight for them um, or, or starve them out. So that's the idea there. Um, now... Uh, my rail movement that I did do was to put units here and over here, like over here. You can see I've now placed some units with Zox. Again, the whole purpose to slow down, uh, to slow down the the Soviets, just to get just to get guys in front of them so that they can't uh, they can't get slipped past that whole huge group that's still retreating west. That's the idea. And I think I did an okay job of doing that. So what this is really all about is, um, you know, have we done enough for it to matter um, in, in dealing with all this stuff? We could still hit some units and get rid of Zox and clear the way, but we've got to figure out how to 
how to operate from here on out with the chip pool. I'm not going to show the activation chits this turn, this time, this turn, because it's the same as last turn. In fact, it'll be the same the rest of the game. Basically, I'm giving up use of Stavka. There's no point anymore in having anything even in Stavka. Um, and it's, you know, the, the same combat chits, right? The second Panzer, which is the last Panzer on the board, HQ activation marker, the move combat chits for Axis and, and the deep battle and move in combat for uh, the Soviets. I will say I wasn't able to, to heal everything back up to full, even with 40 replacement points as the Soviets, but I made sure to try to replenish the important units that are going to be doing a lot of the moving and fighting this turn. Um, so we'll see how well that goes. So I am just going to have the Soviets do movement first. That's really what they need here. They have to, they need to go move. Uh, and can try to continue to work their way through and advance and just become a, you know, continue to be a problem for uh, the Soviets, and that's what they're going to do. So um, we will take care of the Soviet movement, and then we'll come back, and we'll start drawing from the cuff. Okay, here we are after the Soviet move. You can see we're, we're pressing as far as we can in enemy territory, even putting some of our guard tank armies in a position of potentially being out of supply um, because <laughs> uh, we just need to get as far in the territory as possible to allow us to get guys uh, where they need to be, basically. Just keep sneaking through, you know, we're putting guys over here, um, just just trying to be as disruptive as possible um, to, uh, to stop. Oh, this, might, this guy might actually be in supply. One, two, three, four, five. Five, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he actually is in supply, which is great. I'm um, not sure if I would count supply over mountains, but I don't see anything that says you can't, so there you go. Um, yeah, anyway, we're, we're pushing deep, right? We've got units up against the city, up against these cities. Either way, if we pull logistics, these guys are going to be marked as um, out of supply at least, and in some cases isolated. Down here in the south, we're, we're pushing forward as hard as we can. We still can't quite get every unit under the gun here, but it should allow us to clear uh, more of the board, and if we can get two combats in this general area, we could just see the fall of Hungary this turn, which would be great, and we can continue focusing our efforts elsewhere. Um, in the north, you know, we're still pinching, 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 pinching. What's crazy with, with this situation is that the Axis can use any port on the Baltic as a supply source within four hexes. So basically, even if I did swing up here, these guys would be in supply the entire time. So so if I really want to capture Donzig and Königsberg, I, I can't just ignore those guys. They're going to be in supply. I have to fight my way through and either force retreats or create a situation where... Um, it doesn't matter if I don't take them. I'm not sure how I want to look at that. Um, as I look at like the victory conditions, right? Need to have one VP or fewer. So that would require us to take basically all the cities of the West, and then if we, if we did take Berlin and these guys had uh, the victory cities here, I'd have to take at least one of them. So, uh, that port supply is going to probably kill us here, and it's really going to be a problem. Had we, on that previous turn, you know, been able to swing up sooner, there would have been less units to defend over here. We could have swept on through. But, uh, as the rules state here for Axis Supply, um, all ports on the Baltic are supply sources for German units within five hexes of them. Um, oh, okay, never mind. It looks like I, if I can take, if I can take Kohlberg or another... Yeah, okay. I, I can cut off supply, but I will have to get all the way up here to take that port up there, I guess, is what's going to be needed, or Stetten for that matter. So I don't know. It's still going to be tough. I think with all these Axis units still around, it's going to be hard. we got to batter our way through uh, to get there. So I don't know. It's going to be tight. I think it's going to come down to the last turn about whether or not we win the game, and it might be so close that 
you know, I don't know, I say, I might have to, to just say, like, okay, well, it was, you know, it's a victory for the Soviets with an asterisk, maybe. If we can't quite seal the deal, um, we'll have to see. So, movements over, again, Stavka is not relevant in the game anymore, really, because we're now all in Germany. I don't think we have any enemy units in Russia or anything like that. Um, and the Axis doesn't have Modal or Manstein, so it's, it's all about the, the chit draw now. And right now, I think the Axis really, really wants um, either, you know, logistics wouldn't be so bad right now, and we'd also really appreciate a deep battle if we could. So, I'm going to pull the shit, and we'll see what we get. What do we get? We got logistics. Okay. So, very quickly, we should be able to adjudicate this uh, very well. So, um... I am reasonably confident that all these guys down here are out of supply. So I'm just going to put a couple of out of supply markers here. Why are they out of supply? Because ultimately, Axis supply is any west map edge hexes in Germany, which, um, oh, let's see, any west map edges, edge any west map edge hexes in Germany. Okay. So, I don't know if this counts. Do you think that counts? Maybe it counts. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe those guys are in supply. This is one of those annoying things. It's like we're now in an, a weird edge case here, right? Any hex of the USIR is a supply source, but that's been taken by the Soviets. Any rail hex west of the June 41 line leading to those hexes. Any rail hex, blah, 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 blah. So if this is Greater Germany, or maybe it needs to be Germany, Germany. There's a difference, I guess, between Germany and Greater Germany. So if it's if it, if it truly is just Germany, which is up here, not Greater Germany, which is here, then these guys would be out of supply. Because they can't trace, you know, they can't get over here, right? Like, we're covering, so you would think these guys would be out of supply. Um... And that would put Vienna out of supply as well. And Prague is isolated. And I believe Breslau is isolated. And I think everyone else is okay. Right? That's that's I'm thinking these guys are out of supply, right? Because they can't they can't count up to the west map edge of Germany, which is up here, right? Greater Germany is distinct from Germany. And then the rail lines here are either being cut by Russians or are blocked up here or are blocked up here. They can't trace out. So all of these guys should be out of supply, I believe. Um, Check. I think that's the case, right? Like, <laughs> just one of those funny things. Does it count? Greater Germany, and then there's Germany. Germany and Greater Germany. I think that's the distinction here, right? Because all of the, you know, real, like, Austria doesn't have much. It's all in actual Germany. So if you cut supply there, and I think we've sufficiently created a case where they can't get over there for supply. I think we, I think that's out of supply, right? This is going to be the question after this video is posted that somebody like Ted can tell me after the fact, does, is it, this is what I would want to know. Are these guys out of supply right now? They're not isolated because they've got, you know, there are ways to, um, I guess, get to Germany somewhere. Uh, We 
it can't trace a line of communication to a supply source. You know, basically, is there a Zoc here? Yes. Is there a Zoc here? Yes. These guys actually might be isolated as well by that countenance because they can't they can't trace back to a supply source. No, that's not true. They can get snaked through the mountains. Technically, they could draw a path, so they're not isolated. But they are out of supply down here. That's that's the adjudicating rule I'll make here. Um, I'm going to put a stop here and just analyze this a little bit more, and when we come back, I'll continue to pull from the cup. Okay, yeah, so I think that, that I think that's all right. I, I think I am correct there. Um, at least I'm reasonably confident that that's the case, and I missed a couple of isolated spots up here. So there's an isolation up here. Uh, there's an isolation right there. I mean, they can potentially get out of it, but um, that's really going to be the question. Uh, it depends on who's going to move next, I guess, right? So, yeah, there you go. Um, pretty rough stuff. Uh, this should provide ample opportunity to clear some of these hexes and resolve some of the things we need to resolve here. Um, so I'm going to pull from the cup. I think the Axis is really, really hoping to get a uh, deep battle here, but I'm not sure that's what we're going to get. I'm not sure at all. All right. We don't want the second Panzer to come up either, but all right, here we go. What is it? Ayo! We got it. We got our deep battle. That's incredibly important. I, I, I can't stress this enough. This is incredibly important uh, that we managed to pull this. So what this is going to mean is we're going to have various combats along the line here, all over the place. Um, well, I guess it's not... Eh. All right. So so our deep battle is somewhat weakened by the fact that it has to be within range of our HQs. That, sure, that, that's valid. But um, I think I think we'll be able to make use of that well. I think we'll be able to make use of that well. So it's it's all going to be around up here, and we're going to try to bust through these lines and cut these guys off if possible, and then, you know, we may be looking at the capture of that uh, that port. So that's really going to be the important thing here. Um, so I'm going to take care of this deep battle. Again, it's combat and then move, combat and then move uh, for the Soviets, and we'll see what comes out of that. Hopefully we'll have reduced a lot of guys. It's going to be all up here. I got excited for a second, like, oh, I can attack down here. No, 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 not so much, Steve. It's just deep battle up here. But that's the critical point where we need to be able to surge forward. So um, I'll be back after all that is said and done. Hopefully the Soviets uh, will have worked their way up here and split the remainder of the Germans in half and uh, be able to smack their way to victory. So we'll be back. Whoa, hey, a lot happened, didn't it? Um... I think the real thing that matters with that is, you know, combat and move. Um, and we've been able to, you know, really quite, quite uh, satisfactorily um, <laughs> smashed through and were able to advance past units without socks. And I even got a fast mover all the way up here to this port. Now that Kohlberg port is actually really important because, um, because we have... Uh, uh, and I have to go look at, um, yeah, uh, I have to go look, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the case, now that I control a port that is west of these other ports, they cannot be used for, uh, points of supply, um, which means that, you know, the next time we pull the, uh, the logistics chip, which will be next turn at this point, um, Assuming all remains the same, all those guys are going to become isolated uh, because I now have Zox through here, um, cutting them off, and they're all stuck in this sort of rectangle uh, situation here in Pomerania, maybe is that region? I can't remember. No, that's not Pomerania. Um, I guess it's just, yeah, I guess it's still Prussia. This is still mostly Prussia up here. So uh, they're all trapped in Prussia. Um, they're not going to get out easily at this point. I mean, they can certainly try to bust another hole through, but I don't know that they have the combat factors with which to, to even try to do it, really. Um, 
I'm doing what I can to cover the line and, and get guys moved forward, but uh, the Soviets still have plenty of air power left to support any attacks that the Axis might try. Over here, they're not going to get very far. It's pretty strong. You know, it's thinner here, but they just don't have the ability to get up and over very far, um, given the present situation. I mean, we're putting... Um, we're, we're putting a lot in their backfield, uh, basically. <laughs> and you can see, I mean, we've cut all the way up through here. There's still some goofiness. Um, you know, Breslau's been taken via assault. We needed to clear that. Um, we were able to do so, and we've surged forward now. Uh, supply really isn't a problem uh, for anybody at the moment. Um, and we've cleared Glogau. Uh, and... You know, we're within reach of Berlin, basically. Um, and so from here, the Soviets are really going to be trying to, you know, get these guys tucked back in here, get rid of them, while, you know, bringing what forces we can into the final battles uh, around Berlin, which will be important to take. I think that the critical thing will be, once we get the isolation going, it's going to cause a lot of units to disappear but I'm going to have to keep throwing bodies up against the Axis just to make sure that we eliminate units and uh, can actually get into those remaining victory hex cities. Um, if we can clear them via isolation, we'll get control of the cities and we'll get the victory points taken off the board. But we've got to be adjacent to those cities when the uh, isolation check actually occurs. And so, you know, now, now it's just coming down to timing. Um, and the Soviets still have a regular combat shit that they can get this turn, and that'll be important just to knock, you know, more of these guys off. They still have, they're still adjudicated to be in supply at the moment, so they're not going to have any weaknesses there. Uh, but we'll keep throwing bodies, we'll keep firing artillery, and we'll keep reducing this big pocket that we've just created. Um, in the south, obviously, we couldn't do anything. So that, that situation is going to continue to evolve, um, but it shouldn't take too much to clear that uh, here in the, in the, time to come. So, with all that said, I think we're going to pull the next chit, um, and we'll see what comes out and what can be done about it. And we pulled the Soviet combat chit. Well, there you go. So basically what's going to happen here is all the rest of the chits in the cup um, are the Axis movement, combat, and Panzer activation. Um, the Soviets have gotten to go. <laughs> Then this is a lucky chit pool. I mean, I think that the, the game may, and if the game ends as a Soviet victory, it is purely because I've gotten fortunate each of these turns pulling the right chits at the right time. If I had gotten the bad move, counter move chit pool, we'd be in a much different situation. And I kind of feel like in this late stage of the game, that aspect, that chit pool conundrum, may have an overbearing impact on how the game is going to play out at the end here. Um... But so far, it's in the Soviet favor, which is the attacking side, which is more fun. So I'm having fun. It was good. It's all right. But uh, I, do con I would be concerned if this was a two-player game and I'm trying to figure out, like, okay, well, if I don't draw the chits in the right order, I'm just going to lose. Like, it, that's what it comes down to, even if I'm playing as, as best as possible. And I don't know. That's sort of like rolling dice. If the dice don't come up well for you, you lose. Okay, well, you know, I don't know. It's just different. It's a different layer of where that luck is impacts your ability to succeed, I guess, and, and that's, I'm trying to fill that out. Um, all right, so we have combat, and we're going to probably have a great time doing it. <laughs> and this is general combat, so this is everywhere, so if we're lucky, uh, we should see... Um, let's see, I probably don't need to do anything about... Well, I could attack in Prague just to try to clear the hex. That might be really the important thing. Um, down here, I should maybe be able to clear Vienna. I'm gonna get. I'm not gonna be able to take Buda, but I should be able to get pretty darn close um, and have smashed through some of the remaining defenders, and could even be maybe projecting some Zox um, to. Well, I might not be able to get that far, but sure enough, Buda's gonna be lost probably next turn at this rate. So um, we'll take care of all these combats and then uh, we'll come back and show the game position. Okay, here we are after the general combat. Um, we are closer to taking Buddha, but not quite there yet. Um, there's just a handful of units left in the area. They're going to be out of supply and very shortly they could very well just simply be uh, 
you know, isolated, which is probably what's going to happen. We did take Vienna via assault, and so, you know, again, that's going to be one of those cases where if we wanted to next turn, um, we could simply sort of wrap around and hold it for siege and take care of that. Um, we can keep attacking, too. There's no big deal there. I should be able to, in the next two turns, take Buda. Um, I did try to assault uh, Prague, and we did a BL1. Um, my only concern with that was going to be if the Axis was going to be able to slip away um, with emergency withdrawal, and I think they're going to be able to do that, um, which is a shame that we can't catch that unit, but it's going to try to run home to Berlin and escape. And again, I, emergency withdrawal, I think, ignores Zox, so they're going to be able to do that on the Axis move. Um, but, you know, that'll leave, you know, Prague available to capture so that's some goodness here. Um, yeah, we are continuing to work our way through. Uh, over here, we actually did some attacks and moved forward with some retreats. So we are adjacent now to um, Danzig. So assuming that we can, uh, you know, get that isolated, that would be a case where that would vacate. Um, and basically, elsewhere along the line, combats and everything else have, have still steadily reduced the Axis units in the vicinity, and we're going to just continue to keep applying pressure with that isolation. So the question will soon be, you know, in this next turn coming up here, um, what is going to go on regarding Berlin? Because that's really going to be the key factor here. Now, if we can capture all the other victory cities but Berlin, um, I think that might be a victory condition. Uh, by the end of the game. So if it's just Berlin left over, but we have it more or less besieged, then we'll still win. So timer's on, but we're doing well. I'm going to pull the next chit from the cup and just see what we get. It is the second panzer activation. Right now, the only thing that the second panzer can really do is try to get the units... Um, oh, no! Ha! Uh, the HQ was actually taken off the map via combat earlier, I should have mentioned that. So that that doesn't actually do anything for the Axis. There's nothing to uh, activate, so I'm going to pull another chit. And it is the uh, Axis move chit. So we'll do movement, and the very last chit will be Axis combat. I will say that as we're going through these combats, the Soviets are getting beat up pretty bad. Um, just losing a lot of lives, but it kind of doesn't matter. We have enough forces nearby that we can keep on pushing, and uh, if need be, I can even rail some units um, closer to the front where we need them to be. So not a big deal there. Um, we'll continue to to make use of what we can um, to begin assaulting uh, Berlin soon, right? I think, I think we can get some stuff in there. Um, right now there's five factors defending. There may be more very soon, but everything else should wrap up pretty nicely. So I'm going to take care of the uh, Axis movement, and I'll come back and show the movement, and then we'll determine if there's any combat after that. So we'll be right back. Okay, well, here's uh, post-movement, so not much. These guys are just trying to pull away and to get to safety. You know, we had this guy just vacate Prague, try to get home. You know, we moved some guys out of those cities of Stetten. In Frankfurt on the Oder to try to put some guys in front of Berlin just to slow slow things down. If they can create a bubble around Berlin, that might delay the Soviets enough. Here, uh, these guys are just pulling back as much as possible to try to stay alive. And here, these units just went west, and they're going to try to attack a unit to reopen uh, supply lines. I think they might be able to do it. Um, Oh, wait, no, they won't, because they'll still... Ah, that was a mistake. Okay. Now well, what can they do? Um, hmm. Well, I guess it's worth a shot to try to eliminate some units, so they're going to roll that attack, and it's... 6 to 4. Um straight up, so one-on-one -on -one odds, and yeah, okay. So they take a step loss. That, that was stupid of me. Oh well, doesn't matter now. Um, it's really late stage of the game now, and we're going to have to see what we can do. Um, 
Yeah, all right. Well, I think that's the end of turn 42. We're in the very late stages of the game now. Um, it's looking like we can still pull off a Soviet victory, but it's going to be a real uh, near-run thing, essentially. Um, and we're going to have to try as hard as we can to, to knock things out. As I just look at this, he's going to go to being out of supply. And, you know, the question really will be now, can we get enough forces um, where we need them to be, I guess, to finish off the, the axis? Um, it seems like right now it's certainly conceivable that we'll have the required victory cities, but something could happen that could really change things up. Oh, it almost doesn't even matter what the axis does in terms of movement. There's nowhere to go. They've been reduced um, heavily. So we'll see what happens. Um, we'll end the video here. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to start taking these uh, supply markers off because I don't think there's much that can be done um, with them. Technically, I could leave them on the board and the next units could reinforce in them, but I think I'm going to put all reinforcements in Berlin. There's going to be one infantry division in the HQ. I'm, I'm just going to put them back in Berlin. That, that's, all I can, <laughs> that's all I can really do with them and maybe try to you know, outmaneuver some stuff. Um, I'm just going to reduce the, the chit load here. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens here in turn 43 as we're getting closer and closer to the end. The only thing that I guess the uh, Soviets need to watch out for is the uh, MUD's going to reduce their movement a little bit. Um, but uh, that'll be about it. So, all right, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Uh, if you've been watching, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, take care and keep on gaming.